Hello, my name is Dwayne Robinson, and today I'm going to teach you how to use Power Virtual Agents to build yourself a weather bot. So let's dive in. This will be the public preview. So first is you'll go and you'll want to create yourself a bot. And in this case, I've already created one, and you'll create one on the preview. Um, that will get you the new unified authoring canvas from PVA. And then you can click in the topics. And you can see here, I've actually already created a new topic um, called current weather. What I've done in this topic is I've been able to create a trigger phrase and with trigger phrases. And you'll see I already have two things, but I'll just go ahead here to show you how easy it is just to add an additional statement. So I'm going to go in and say, I need to get a forecast uh, for current conditions, for example. And what this will do is it'll just additionally add additional trigger phrases to the bot. So again, it's easy enough. Then you say that you want a node for adding a question. And in the question, you can see that there are all of these different behaviors and all these other things that you can do. We actually are going to leave this as default um, what comes out. But you'll see that we can do things all the way from validation, giving custom error, retry prompts. All of these different things can be done. But again, we're just going to leave it the way it is for now. Now, if you'll notice that what I've selected here is I've been able to go in and these are the things that I want the bot to say. Now you can have multiple ways that you ask the question, but then also I've taken the time to make sure that I get an entity called city, city so that I can pull the city name out of the statement. Now I take that and I create a variable and the variable is requested location is what I've called it. However, uh, you can see it's a topic limited level one. Now, once you do this, you add an additional node and you can see it's under call and action. And that additional node is to create a flow. Now you can click create a flow, but I've already created one. So I'm going to show you the flow that I've connected here. So the first is it's going to, when you create a flow, it's going to ask, what do you want to do? What do you want to create as the inputs? And you'll see I put location. I also am going to initialize a variable for weather icon URL. So that, that way I can store the icon for a card for me. And then I'm going to use get forecast today from the MSN weather um, and also get current weather. Now I'm doing that because all the different data that I need needs to come from those two different API calls. I do that and then I have a switch statement. Now what am I doing with the switch statement? I'm basically looking at current conditions. And I'm looking at that and saying, if that current condition is set to one of these different values, I'm passing it the actual PNG location or the icon into the weather icon URL variable. So by doing this, what it allows you to do is to be able to have different graphics on your adaptive card. Notice that I have a default, which is if nothing else fits, then it'll put that one. And you can see here in the switch statement, I'm doing this off of conditions. Now, if we look at this, then that's going to generate what are all the things that I want to be able to respond. So I'm going to continue to add outputs for all these different things so I can capture those. I hit save. And then voila, you're going to have all of those uh, variables already created for you um, in your flow. Now, how do I apply those? I create a new message to be sent, and I also go out and make an adaptive card. Now, this adaptive card can be found in the adaptive card uh, .io uh, website, and I just grabbed the weather card. Now, I modified that as a formula, and you see here where it says topic.conditions and topic.currentTemp. This is how you call that in your adaptive card so that you have the ability to pass in this. Now, one thing I will show you is that when you try to pass this into an adaptive card is the text or the date and time, you have to put in the formula, the text, and then make sure that it knows that you're passing text and not an actual date and time. Otherwise, you'll get an error. So with that, now let's test this and let's see how it goes. So what is the weather? And you'll see this go back and you'll see it comes back and ask me the question that we asked. And I'm going to just say Orlando. I'm planning a trip down there recent in the coming months. And voila, we've got the response back. Now, what we want to do is we also want to say, maybe we want to do this where we pass the whole text. So what is the weather in Seattle? Now, because we've done uh, an entity above, it allows us to be able to actually see this and pass it in this way so that you can do it in a single statement. I hope that was helpful and have a great day. Stay tuned. We'll continue to do more videos. Thanks.